This was a, a clip from Brian Windhorst earlier this week on ESPN about the Knicks and their center rotation uh, plight. Here's what uh, uh, Windhorst had to say. Let's react to it on the other side. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Let's keep an eye on what they do from a, from a trade standpoint as the season goes along. There's already been some c- connection between them and Walker Kessler with the Utah Jazz. Uh, you know, the Jazz are difficult to make a deal with. They have very high asks, but... It's possible Walker Kessler could change teams, and he fits nicely about what the Knicks want to do. Um, Also, I would say Robert Williams from Portland. I would say any team looking for a center is going to watch Robert Williams closely this year. After the Blazers drafted Donovan Klingon, and they've got DeAndre Ayton, who's probably not very tradable on their roster, I don't know where Robert Williams fits. I think the Knicks will be among the teams monitoring him. So as the season goes along, Zach is absolutely right. Uh, we'll see Julius Randle and his role in that contract be a topic. But on the court, how that center position goes is going to be a big topic from uh, week to week as they try to get going. All right, so Windhorse puts the uh, the Time Lord's name into the hat. Uh, we've talked about Walker Kessler a lot on this show. Uh, Ian Begley reported that they they talked to Omar Yurt 7. He decided to go to Europe. Uh, Bruno Fernando was another name. Uh, the Jonas Valanciunas is another name that you're hearing. So I think this is this could come down to the trade deadline. This will I think this will be the trade deadline acquisition that they make to shore things up for the second half run and just make sure that, you know, they have all their all their soldiers, all their ducks in a row to get ready for a big run. The question is, um, at what cost? Because whether it's a Time Lord who's making a, a northwards in you know te- in the teens and millions uh, uh, Valanciunas is around 10. So are we talking a precious and deuce combination here? I think it's very interesting. At what cost? Well, how, how, you know, how far will they go? Because I don't think it'll be Walker Kessler. Ainge, is, Ainge, he wants the house. You don't want to deal with them. Forget Ainge. I'm talking about more, one of these margin guys like a Valanciunas, maybe a Time Lord. But at what cost? What do you think? Valanciunas would be tough, man. I'm just not... For this team, like I get it offensively, but defensively, that would just be god awful because yeah. you want to talk about the lack of pick and roll defense. Like it, it just I, to me, Valanciunas does, does not fit what this Knicks team need. I, with the Time Lord, the only, the only thing, the only way that's working is that if Mitch and Robert Williams never play the same night, like they have to alternate every single night, yeah. <laughs> so that way they're One both fresh. Clothes. No, yeah. <laughs> Good God. Yeah. That's like, and for Robert Williams, that has to be like the cheapest deal because we know about his injury history, okay? There's no way you should be giving up too much to get uh, to get Robert Williams in return. Yeah. But it's just it's just murky, man. There's it's just, murky. This is where you hope like there's internal development. This is where you hope Sims can take that next step because to waste assets on, on that, I don't see either, I don't see, especially Valanciunas and Robert Williams, they're not like the last piece, man. And like, I would just hate to say you give up assets for guys who are just going to either one, not fit the scheme or two, uh, just is injury prone, just like Mitchell Robinson. And so as much as I like, I get that this team is in win now, you got to be prudent with the remaining resources and knowing what you get in return. Because if you're just wasting on another injury prone guy and you're just hoping and, and truly hoping that he's healthy, that's just not... To me, that's just not good asset management. I'm, I'm with you there, and I, I don't think they would do that either. Great point by you. I wouldn't want to do that unless it's like break glass, emergency, like, damn, Mitch is out for the season. We got to do something. Then, you know, maybe you look into that. Uh, Ian Begley also still mentioned a, a potential pursuit of Nick Richards. Maybe that's something that's there. Or do they just go out and give uh, King Matthews in the chat mentioned JaVale McGee? Do we call JaVale McGee <laughs> the journeyman's journeyman? Hey, Javel, what, what are you up to, man? Where, where are you at? You in Cancun? What, what are you doing? Are you in Taiwan trying out? Uh, you shacked in a fool still? Are you shacked in a fool out there? What, what, what's going on with you, man? Did somebody give Javel McGee a call, see what he's dealing with, and, let, and let's see where we go. But I, I do think they will look more into it by the trade deadline and, and see what happens. But, of course, no, I didn't think anything Winhorst said was uh, you know groundbreaking. Of course, you know, Robert Williams on a scrub team like the Blazers or Valanciunas, of course, those guys would be would be should be available by the deadline. You know, a lot of people still ask him about the White Howard. I don't think they go that way. You know, no pause. Uh, yeah, maybe. 
<laughs> or, or do you think or do you think about uh i mean i i know he he's trying to deal with his uh he talked about having like a serious drug addiction and he's trying to get himself clean. Yeah. There's one Willie Cully Stein, you know, enter the fray where he's a free agent right now. And do you, do you believe in him? Nah. Is that somebody they go after? Nah, he, he got to get clean, man. That story was wild. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's got to get clean. Oh, he he could have been out of here, man. I know. He, he That's talk, what I'm saying. He, like, you talking about he taking placebo lace with fentanyl. Oh, he should, he should be thanking his lucky stars. He's still with us. That's a fact. Forget the game. <laughs> Yo, forget the game. No, man. Nah, nah, nah. He, nah, he got to get himself right. I don't know what was going on over there, man. Well, that's what I'm saying, man. After he goes through the whole rehab, pro- do you do you do you wait for somebody like that? Is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, nah, nah. I think we I think we can um, figure something else out. I, I I trust we we can do a little bit better than that. Yeah, he's he's got to figure I that tr- out. Man. Figure, figure something else. <laughs> What's that? Figure something else out. I yeah, like that. I like, yeah, we got we got to figure something else out, man. We got to figure something else out. So uh, those are some of the names. Let's get to the calls, Al, and then we're gonna get to the super chats. We see all the super chats as well. 